The rose has been a symbol of divine love. It gently reaches across the ages in ancient illuminations and freely spills from the pens and brushes of countless poets and artists. Echoing through our sanctuaries in the melodies and texts of many beloved carols, it brings to life the beautiful visions of biblical prophets and the hope of early Christian pilgrims. Today, the rose remains a vital expression of love and peace both inside the church and the outside world. Her appearance in the garden is a treasured harbinger of the coming spring's abundance. As a gift, the rose's delicate beauty is usually reserved for the most meaningful expressions of the heart. No flower holds our dreams of love more beautifully than she. It is in that same spirit that the present work was conceived in her. It is our sincerest prayers that as Christ, the rose of Sharon, opens before you this Christmas, your spirit will be encouraged by the beauty of God's greatest gift. Let the words and the music of this cantata remind you that even in the deepest winter, we are people of joy and of life, children of the garden.
The Holy One of Israel says, The rain and the snow come down from heaven. They water the earth, causing it to bud and flourish. In the cold of winter, you will be like a well-watered garden. Your Redeemer, the Rose of Shear, will come to Zion. Blessed are all those who wait for Him.
earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone, long, long ago.
Though he possesses the universe, no one grants him shelter and he is laid in a manger. The bread of life laid to sleep in a feeding trough. And although he was long awaited, his birth would go unnoticed, were it not for a chorus of angels rousing the shepherds from their slumber. Terrified at first, the shepherds are awestruck by the sight and sound of these heavenly beings.
frankincense and myrrh, but the child they seek is more fragrant and precious than these. He is the winner of robes, God's gift to the world. 